The tomb complex of the first Chinese Emperor Qin Shi Huang in Lintong County, Xi'an, Shaanxi Province has never been uncovered. Archaeologists were too scared to destroy the historic site. For more than 2,000 years, when the dreaded emperor was buried there, no one has ever looked inside this tomb. Let's watch this video until it's finished. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell button to get interesting stories from other world famous figures. The main reason for this fear is that archaeologists are concerned about how excavations could damage tombs and lose important historical information. Quoted from IFL Science, this site was first discovered in 1974. A group of farmers made one of the most important archaeological discoveries of all time on a modest farm in Shaanxi Province, China. After digging, they found a clay human statue. This is only a small part of the findings. Further excavations by the archaeological team reveal that the field appears to have covered several pits filled with thousands of life-size models of soldiers and war horses, not to mention statues of famous officials and other animals. It appears that the Trakota army was commissioned to excavate the nearby tomb of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of the Qin dynasty, who reigned from 221 to 210 BC, ordered to guard. Most of the graves in the vicinity have been explored. But Emperor Qin Shuang's tomb was never opened, and many myths and intrigues surround it. Qin Shi Wang's character is phenomenal, and is known for his desire to live forever. In fact, death is a certainty that cannot be avoided by living things. Qin Shi Huang came in 221 BC, came to power when he was only 13 years old. Under his leadership, the Chinese Empire succeeded in making great achievements. He managed to build an optimal army. This army later became the pinnacle of the Chinese Empire. Thanks to a good army, Qin managed to expand the territory and unite all the local Chinese kingdoms into one kingdom. Its territory extends to Hong Kong and Mongolia. Because of its vast territory, Qin built a unified highway. This should make mobility easier. In addition, he is also credited with creating the world's first balance system for exchange and measurement. His greatest accomplishment, which we can still see today, was building the massive fortress known today as the Great Wall of China. This 21,196 kilometer long fortress was designed to withstand attacks 
by the Bari Bari tribes in northern China. Quoted by the BBC, success and fame made him think against fate. He wants to live forever. For Qin, his death would end Chinese imperialism. To understand this, he ordered Chinese officials, scientists, and researchers to scatter overseas in search of the magic elixir of longevity. Until finally one of them found a potion that could make an old king 10,000 years old. You do this by drinking mercury. Then Chin believed and immediately imitated him. He did not know that mercury is a dangerous substance. Then he modified it by mixing mercury with fermented wine and honey. This herb is then taken regularly. Not long after taking the potion regularly, Chin developed delusions, a state in which the sufferer is unable to distinguish between what is real and what is not. Chin then faced his greatest fear, death. Instead of living long and not dying, Chin actually died at a very young age, at the age of 49. Chin's obsession with becoming an immortal didn't end there. Other rulers continued this obsession by flooding the crypts of the Chin Mausoleum with mercury. The goal is that the grave should not be touched or damaged at all. A 2020 study. Mercury is a geophysical trace gas. Emissions. From Emperor Qin's tomb in Xi'an studied with laser radar. Published in the journal Nature. Reveals using laser imaging that the air in Qin's tomb is highly polluted with mercury.